Maybe let's get jump right into it. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, I have my digital scale, which I love. This one we're measuring. Okay, so my, my um, I'm up for flour. I'm using central milling, high protein bread flour, organic, five hundred grams in my uh, container. Zero out my scale. I'm going to add in sixteen grams of sea salt. And I got 16. Next one to do is whisk. I whisk just like this, and I can shake. I'm going to take some yeast, and this is Fleshman's active dry yeast. I'm going to add in one gram. My micro scale is down, so I'm going to ballpark it. It's about, that's probably a little heavy. That's about the size of a, 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 a dime. Okay, one gram. Dump that in and whisk it again. Really low skill level. Right? Having my scale really nice. And now I'm going to zero my scale out again by hitting the tear button and add 350 grams of water. This is filtered water. It's reverse osmosis. That's how I like to drink uh, my water. So I cook with it the same way. 350 grams, I just need a little bit more. Okay, that's a little, that's 350. And I love these containers, guys, because all of my, you can see, I'm keeping my counters clean, which I love. And now I'm gonna, Take a dough scraper, all right, and just kind of mix it up. Let the water and the flour hydrate together just by mixing slowly. Right, and then what I'll do is I'm going to stick one hand in there. Do not want to do that. Um, I always got to keep it off to the side. I'll scrape it out. I don't want to, you know, drain the, 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 the dough down the sink. It can clog the pipes. Uh, anyway, my container now, these are awesome. Again, cover it up, right? I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours at room temperature. And to me, room temperature is about... 72 degrees and, and make dough balls. I'm gonna make a dough ball now for you. So I've already made a ball out of this by accident. I, um, I'm i gonna pretend this is just a cut off piece of dough. I divided this recipe into three. So each portion is 285 grams. These are gonna make my like my mini loaves, ciabatta bread, if you will, for sandwiches, etc. So I pick it up, I'm gonna flour up both sides. And now what I'll do is I'm gonna fold it in half like this. And then turn my hands, press inside of this, right? And then close. I'm gonna follow this just like our pizza dough. I'm gonna follow the same sequence. If it gets sticky, flower your hands up. Press in and then close and turn. Press in and then close and turn. Press in, close and turn. And the smooth side, if you can see, is super smooth. I'm not, it's not a stress ball. So don't be like crushing this thing. Be gentle, right? Smooth side into my palm. And I'm going to close it up, right? And I've created a dough ball, a mini dough ball. That's, that's it. That's done. I'm going to let this, if I have multiple containers, I'll put it back in the container and cover it up. Or um, I can just put it on a sheet tray and cover it with plastic wrap. I want to leave this airtight for the next three or four hours so it can kind of do its final proof, is what they call it. It's going to rest. So I'm going to, and I'm, maybe you can see that, just a nice piece of, um, you can make a sandwich. So I'm going to do this. And then, and of course, I got a phone call. Let me turn that off. Uh, 
my mom too. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll call her right back. That's important. Uh, this is my dough is ready to, to bake really. I'm gonna let this rest for four hours and I'm gonna bake it. Now, let's. I have another piece of dough that's been waiting. So let's get right to that. Here's my little secret weapon. I like to use a little semolina flour down and I like to use a regular, regular flour down. And I'm gonna take my piece of dough that I balled up four hours ago and just place it down. You can see how it's it's a little bit bigger than this one here. It's been proofing, right? See the difference? I'm gonna coat it with semolina flour and flour. And what I'll do next is just gonna stretch this out by hand, like an accordion, just kind of press it out. Boom. You can see it's, it's stretching back just a little bit, that's okay. I'm stretching almost to about a foot long, right? Isn't that gorgeous? And this is going to be ready to bake right now. I'm going to actually toss this in the oven. I'm going to take my peel, take my parchment paper right on top of my peel, so it's going to stretch really easy. Now, I'm using parchment because I'm not using the broiler, so I'm not worried about anything. And this helps contain the mess on my steel. Everything's on the parchment. I'll just literally take this piece of paper and slide it into the oven, which has been onto my baking steel. I'm going to put my timer on for about 12 minutes. Timer's on. Uh, I, can, I can drop some ice cubes in right now. Right? You can see I've got my bread down low. I'm going to add some ice cubes. Look at that steam. Be careful. I'll create some steam. Close her up. And my oven looks like so inside. In fact, we're going to take this bread out of here too. However, I've got two steels, right? These racks are nice and slide out beautifully. I'm going to pull this one out. I know it's done. This is the bottom of it. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Looks amazing, doesn't it? Awesome. The aroma, man, it's beautiful too. And it's rustic. Like no one else in the world makes bread like this, but we do. Oh, right. gosh. Will, get rid of the stone, man. I tell you, it's it's night and day the difference. And we'll teach you how to get there. It's it's a game changer. You will love it. I don't, I don't sell my product enough. It's incredible, guys. Like, Get rid of your stone if you have one. Get a steel, get a baking steel, get two. It will change your, it'll make pizza and breads exciting again. I love it. Super cool. You guys, welcome. We'll see you in, in a week or two and we will do cleaning. We'll do pizza hangouts, whatever you guys want. We're here for you. And of course, reach out to me, Andrus at Baking Steel, anytime. Uh, you can also hit me up on Instagram at Baking Steel. I'm on there just... Hit me up with some questions. We'll get to you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, David. Thanks for that plug. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Bye.